going to speak for very long because what I want to do and what I've been doing is I've been here to listen. I always learn something whenever I hear Hayden speak or whenever we speak together in my electorate office and that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to listen to your concerns, to the way you're feeling in our community. I am from the west, from the western metropolitan region and I know that I myself feel unsafe walking around my suburb now. We've had crime across the west. We've had crime across, across Victoria, of course. The crime across the west has been particularly bad. Even in Essendon, very recently in Essendon, people were chased off uh, from playing tennis in the middle of the day. Now, Essendon's very close to the city, for those of you who don't know. And that's appalling. And it is time. It is time for people behind us to listen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm extremely disappointed that only one political party is here today. Yeah. There are many more members in other parties. I'm the only member at the moment of Australian Conservatives in this house, this house behind me. The Coalition have over 60 members. One of them, one of them could have been here today and I'm really disappointed that they're not. But their behaviour, all the behaviour of most of the politicians, not all, but most of the politicians in the house behind me, disgust me when it comes to this issue because it's political to them. This is not about people, this is about politics. And the decisions they're making are political decisions. They're not about listening to the community. They're not about representing you. And it's time that we returned the House to the control of people who truly represent their constituents. You. I've brought up motions in this House and one I'll just speak to briefly. Last year I spoke about political correctness overtaking police command. I spoke about the police here in Victoria no longer being able to be a police force but being forced to be a police community service. What we need is a police force. And this is no reflection, no reflection to the police on the ground who have joined to be a police force, but are finding themselves in a situation where they're told to wear rainbows rather than told and empowered, rather than be empowered to do their job. And it is time for us to return to a police force. And this is something that's a problem of successive governments. I'm not defending, don't mishear me, I'm not defending the Andrews government. They have a lot to answer for. A lot to answer for. And the only thing, and this is something that Hayden mentioned, the only thing that politicians will listen to is the votes on election day. The 24th of November this year, not very long, not very long to go at all, is a time for us to make a difference, both in the lower house and in the upper house. There are two houses in parliament. Don't lose sight of the power of the upper house where we can block legislation and we have blocked legislation when it isn't appropriate. And it is time for us to be empowered in that way. I'm obviously, I'm here as an Australian Conservative, so I'm just gonna give a bit of a plug for my party. Uh, we believe in a civil, respectful society, that a strong criminal justice system is an essential part of. We no longer, I don't believe, feel that we're living in a very civil or respectful society. And it is time for us to return our community to that standard. And it is time that we take criminal justice seriously. I had someone just today ask me, and they genuinely were asking, can we actually change legislation? And I understand that frustration. I hear that frustration. And the answer is yes. And it does not take 12 months to get bail laws drafted. It does not take that long to consult communities about what is expected. But this house moves slowly at the moment. After November, you put your name on the ballot. You vote to change what's happening in this house. It's essential that we do that because laws can change. The judiciary system can change. 
We need a complete overhaul of both legislation and the judiciary. At the moment, the legislation that's coming through is just fiddling around the edges. That's all it's doing, just tweaking things around the edges, and we need a complete overhaul. It is possible to do that in the next parliament, but we need the numbers inside to make that happen. <laughs> Judges and magistrates need to be held accountable. Yeah. This is something that Hayden's already yeah. spoken about. The High Court has pointed out that we are too lenient here in Victoria. In fact, Victorians jailed in the magistrate's court, I'm just making sure I get this right, served a median sentence of three months. Three months. That's the lowest of any state or territory in our country. That is too low. It is time to change. Judicial sentencing simply must, simply must reflect our views, must reflect community standards. So it's one thing to put the legislation through, it's another to change the judiciary so that they are actually implementing the legislation that we put through. I admire one of the Protect Victoria's, I admire a lot of the Protect Victoria policies, but one of them says this, our judicial system is broken in many places and does not reflect community and victims' expectations. That's so, so true. And as someone who has experienced crime myself, who's had crime in my own home, which I reported, and who speak to many victims of crime, I say I stand in solidarity today with victims of crime that are here. It is time to make your voice heard. It's time to make my voice heard. It's time for the community to fight back. And the best way we can do that is with our vote. We need to get tougher in our prisons. We need to look at overseas examples like New York. No tolerance. It's time to bring that back. It's time to focus on what you want, what you expect. And it's time for politicians to listen to what you want and to what you expect. <laughs> Policy should not just be the responsibility of elected politicians. We can't trust, I don't trust, and that's why I'm not in one, the major parties to do what we need them to do. It is time for us to take back the house behind me. As I said, I'm not going to speak very long because, you know, you've all heard politicians like to talk more than they like to listen. I like to do the opposite. I'm not going to talk for much longer. I just want to encourage each of you. Thank each of you for coming today. There's petitions that are going around. Um, in hard copy. I encourage you to sign those petitions. I read them before. They're excellent petitions. Get them in because that counts in Parliament. People will stop and pause and listen to how many signatures come through in a petition. There's also a petition that Protect Victoria has started that's for the Upper House and it's an electronic petition. Um, it's advertised on the Facebook. I'll re-advertise it on my Facebook as well to encourage as many people to sign, on, sign that. Because again, the politicians in this house listen to numbers. That's all they listen to. So we need the numbers. We need the numbers on our petitions. We need the numbers of people like yourselves trying to get in and talk to your politicians and then telling people when you can't get in to see them. And we need the numbers on election day on the 24th of November to change what's happening behind us. Because as the way things are tracking at the moment, the ALP government here, the Andrews government, is very confident that they're going to be getting back in. No way! And if we don't do something about it, they will. No way! So it is time to band together and make sure that that does not happen. I'm, my door is always open because I am the only Australian Conservative for Victoria. Sometimes it can be very difficult to get in to see me and I apologise for that, but if you have a story, and you want to come and talk to me about it, let my office know. And I'm more than happy to take the time out to do that yeah. because it's time for people to be heard. Thank you. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.